Welcome back everyone. Thank you for joining us today. We have a special lesson prepared today. So grab those notebooks, gather your friends and family and siblings, and let's get ready to learn new things about God. We don't wanna grow up. we have been looking at stories in the Bible where God displays His power and shows His understanding. We've looked at Deborah and Barak and how they fought against an army. We learned about Elijah and a poor widow in the time of famine, God provided them with food. And last week, we learned about Elijah putting false gods to the test. If you missed any of these stories, please check them out on our YouTube channel. Along with these are some great family devotionals. Today's lesson will be a bit different because we are closing out this section and our remember verse. For the past four weeks, we have been trying to remember a Psalms. Do you think you have it memorized? All right, let's see. On the next screen, you will see the first word of the verse and the last. Try filling it in with what you remember before time's up. How did you do? Awesome. We're gonna say it together one last time. Psalm 147 verse 4 to 5. He counts all the stars. He calls them all by name. Our, how great is our Lord. His power is absolute. His understanding is beyond comprehension. Wow. Last week we read about Elijah challenging King Ahab, his people, and Israel about who the one true God is. God sent the prophet Elijah to remind the people of that very thing. Israel had a unique responsibility. You see, long ago, God chose this specific nation to teach other nations about God. Israel lived differently than other people. They ate differently. They celebrated different holidays all in the hopes of helping other people learn about God. But along the way, they forgot this calling. Instead of teaching others to be like them, they became like the people around them. And that is why this challenge with Elijah is so important, because God didn't want Israel to forget their purpose. This goes all the way back to the book of Deuteronomy. Let's try saying that 10 times fast. Deuteronomy, 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 Deuter Deuteronomy. All right. That's hard. Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 35 through 39. He showed you these things so you would know that the Lord is God and that there is no other. He let you hear his voice from heaven so he could instruct you. He let you see his great fire here on earth so he could speak to you from it. Because he loved your ancestors, he chose to bless their descendants and he personally brought you out of Egypt with a great display of power. He drove out nations far greater than you so he could bring you in and give you their land as your special possession as it is today. So remember this and keep it firmly in mind. The Lord is God, both in heaven and on earth. There is no other. In Deuteronomy, Moses is speaking to Israel. How does this message connect to Elijah's story? How do you see it coming to life? Yeah, God did a lot of amazing and powerful things for the nation of Israel. He gave them victory over Egypt. He led them through the desert. 
He gave them a new home in a new place where they can be free. He did this to show Israel that He is the one true God, and in turn, they would share this with others. Let's think about this for a minute. Why do you think people choose false gods over the one true God? This is something I want you to think about with the help of your family at home. In what ways can you learn from these stories? Have you been given a message different from the one some of your friends have? Think about that. I hope you've enjoyed these times together learning about God's power. Next week, we are coming at you with a new Remember Verse and new stories. I'm gonna give you a clue to what we will be learning about next week. Are you ready? The clue is poems. Hmm, think about that and let's see if you can figure out what we will be learning and talking about next week. Now, we're gonna get ready to sing some songs to God. Get up out of your seat and let's sing and move and think about God, the one true God. Catch you here next week. And if you want to catch up on past videos, check out our Kingdom Kid playlist on YouTube. Don't forget to see the family devotional below. Bye!